Hey everyone, I'm Michael, and welcome to another video. And I am very glad that Pet the Hawk is my desktop wallpaper right now, because he is my good luck charm, and I have just made something incredible work. Um, I want to show you guys it. So, I'm on Linux. I have been on Linux for months now. I still use Windows from time to time, but most of the time it's in a virtual machine. I am a Linux user. Um... And I don't intend to change that. Um, I, I despise Windows. I hate it with passion. It is the worst thing that has ever been created nowadays, especially with Windows 11. And I just don't want to use it. So I'm going to use Linux. But Linux is not without its issues. Um, not all pieces of hardware support Linux. And one of those pieces of hardware would be my Stream Deck XL. Um, I bought that back when I ran Windows, and I used it to control OBS and media and all of that wonderful stuff that I really don't want to use the UI to control. Um, I am blind, so using a user interface, not the most fun thing. I would rather have a hotkey, or some sort of physical input that I can press, memorize the location of, feel around for, and do something with. And particularly with OBS, even if I was not blind, I want that anyway. Because when I'm recording a video, well, I'll just show you. Um, if I want to stop recording this without a stream deck, I would either need to have some really complicated hotkey, because I don't want to accidentally hit it. So it needs to be something I have to purposefully hit. So like a control alt shift R or something like that. Or I could use my stream deck. Or if I didn't have that, I would have to do zoom in and you know, have this happen where you're seeing the screen and then I have to press the stop recording button. You know, that's not really ideal. Even if you, even if I weren't blind, I could do it without zooming in, but because I'm blind, it's exacerbated, because now I have to zoom in to find the button, and then you guys see OBS, which is not ideal. So that's why I bought the Stream Deck, so I could wire it up to the Stop Recording button, or the Start Recording button, or whatever other action I want to perform in OBS. But that only works on Windows and Mac OS, because the Stream Deck software only exists on Windows and Mac OS. And maybe you can get it working under Wine? I don't think anyone's done that. The big benefit of using this the, the official Stream Deck software is you get the OBS integration plugin, but on Linux, you don't get that. There are third-party Stream Deck drivers. In fact, I'm using one. But you don't get that OBS integration plugin, so it's like very annoying to control OBS because suddenly you you have to set up hotkeys anyway, and then you have to program them into the Stream Deck, and that's just not something that I want to do. But then I realized I'm a programmer. I can solve that problem, and I have. Let me show you. I open up a terminal. Um, and bring it onto this monitor. And I'm going to zoom in. So, so you might have chat, you're not going to see him for a little. Um, you know, we have this pretty bog standard terminal. But interestingly, what I have done is we go into slash opt obs cli. The little ls that lart on that list its files out in a nice display. This is a .NET application. So it's written in C-sharp, but it's cross-platform, because .NET is cross-platform now. And what this is, is a command line interface that I wrote. It's in my path, so I don't need to be in this directory. For controlling OBS at the command line. Um, now it's very limited in functionality right now. It is, it is only existed for like two days. 
and I wrote it, so the code's probably not the greatest. But for what I need it to do, it is mostly feature complete. Um, so just looking at the help output here, you can do a dash H for the full output. I don't know if that'll show anything too different. Uh, no, it won't. Um, not sure what happened there. Um, but, you know, it'll tell you what you can do with it. So, for example, recording, I guess we do a dash H here. It'll give you some more help on recording, but it, honestly, it's just better to run the command directly and have it do the automatic output, I think. And, you know, what I can do is I can get the recording status, I can start, stop, toggle recording, I can pause, I can resume, I can do all that fun stuff from the command line that you would normally have to do, either from within OBS's user interface or through a hotkey. This is really great. Because what I can then do is, I can go into Stream Deck UI, and this is my Stream Deck right now. So I haven't, a lot of these commands don't exist yet, so I've set them up for future use. But if I click on Record, um, you can see under the Command section, it actually should have the OBS CLI command for toggling recording. So I press that button, and it'll end recording. Now, this is an open source project. It is open source on my GitHub. I'll have a link to it in the description. And I could definitely use some help. But some of the things you can already do is obviously all the recording stuff. You can toggle recording, start recording, stop recording, pause recording, resume recording, toggle whether recording is paused. You can get recording status. So you can figure out if it's active, paused, you can see how long the recording's been gone for, and all that wonderful stuff. But you can also um, I'm working on audio control, so I can have a mute and an unmute button for my microphone and stuff for my stream deck, which will be useful for live streaming. That's not implemented yet, but you can still list the inputs. Now, there's something weird with the protocol that I mean that it uses for some reason. Even though the inputs command is for audio devices, um, actually inputs are not just audio devices in OBS. Inputs are anything that can be recorded. So, you know, there's a screen capture in the list of audio devices. I haven't figured that out yet. But, you know, you can see there's the microphone and the, uh, or microphone and the desktop audio in there. But eventually it'll be something like... Uh, OBS DLI inputs... Mic slash box and then mute to mute it or something like that. But that's not a command that exists yet. But uh, you can also switch scenes. I don't have any scenes to switch to, but you know, first of all, you can list them. OBS CLI scenes list. And there's the one scene that I have. Eventually, I'll have one for my left monitor, one for my right monitor, and one for my capture card haven't gotten that far yet, but that's what those buttons on the stream deck are supposed to do at the bottom. Um, but if you want to set the current scene, I don't know if this will work. You run that, and it'll go ahead and switch to that scene. Now, obviously, I'm already on that scene, so that's pointless, but, um, you know, you can see how that could work. So it's really handy. Um... So, hopefully you guys find that interesting or cool or something like that. I, I, I think it's going to be really useful. Now, there are other OBS command line interfaces. I'm well aware of that. Um, but they target an older version of the WebSocket plugin. So, I don't think that they necessarily work by default. And if they do, because they're targeting an older version of the plugin, it's going to run in some sort of compatibility mode, and eventually that compatibility will be dropped, which is not ideal. But mine targets V5, which is the current release, and it's also built into OBS Studio. So as long as you have the server enabled, my tool will work. Um, and OBS obviously needs to run, but, you know, I mean, obviously... If you want to use OBS, you're going to have it open anyway, so, you know. Just 
we want to be able to see what's going on, right? Anyway, um, now there are other use cases for this. For example, you know, let's say we were running Windows. How polite of policy kit to hide the password entry screen from that monitor. It was shown on the wrong monitor there, that's weird. But, you know, let's say we have a Windows VM and, you know, you have your Stream Deck plugged into that VM for some reason, but you want to be able to control OBS remotely on your Linux host. Well, you can do that. That is a thing you can do. Um, but just running OBS CLI on the VM and then telling it to point at your hypervisor host. You can do that. Don't know why you would, but someone out there will. So, you know, I implemented the feature. For some reason, Windows is not starting. I don't know what's going on there. I'm gonna have to investigate that, but... Um... Weird. I'm gonna debug that off camera. Anyway, uh, hopefully you guys find that useful or interesting or anything like that. With that said, as always, I've been Michael. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you learned something, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.